Oh no, we're just next time. Okay, Rick Sarah, Sewer Department. Yeah. I didn't give him a picture, correct? No, that's fine. Um, okay. We had talked a little bit last winter about replacing the wastewater truck. Um, it, unfortunately, it's supposed to be in the warrant articles at the end of town meeting. We got busy, we get in there, and we and I, we talked about probably possibly doing a special town meeting with the ambulance. Again, we got busy, it didn't happen. We're at the stage now where I want to move forward with it because winter's coming. Unfortunately, I'm not finding a whole lot of vehicles out there. Uh, they're very, very limited. Uh, I've been on the phone for the last two days and probably found a couple of trucks, possibly. The problem is with our way of doing business, doing special time meeting, appropriating money, doing special time meeting, it's a long process, a couple of weeks. And by that time, the truck is probably sold already. You know what I'm saying? It's the hard part there. We're in a market right now where very hard to find vehicles. Special order vehicle, like the Western Star, we're waiting eight, nine, ten months now. Um, I just want some guidance from the council what we want to do moving forward. Do we want to do a special town meeting, appropriate a certain amount of money that let me go out there and try to find something that we can use and probably make a purchase between Luke, Nancy, and I? Times are definitely changed, uh, Rick. Now, um, is this, this is a Type of vehicle you're that is a type of vehicle. And I jotted a few notes on it. So <laughs> explain to me how that would work with our new yeah. dewatering system and with our new plant upgrade, we will no longer be hauling liquid uh, sludge up in the fields. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be um, probably be a lot drier. So this material that's going to be coming out of the plant now is going to be looking more like compost. So we're going to have an option of hauling it to either Congerno, or give me the correct name now there, but whatever it's called. Uh, a lot of people just call it Green River. Canada. Or Tri-Community, one of the two. So we're going to be trucking it to outside of Gambier. Um, going this route here, it was more economical for us because uh, talking with the engineers at preliminary time, they talked possibly of uh, purchasing a, a wheel truck uh, then issue came up with how we're going to load the wheel of truck with a compact tractor because part of this project is purchasing a compact tractor to work in the greenhouse to move the material around and uh, a small compact tractor, you got to know, 35 horsepower tractor is not going to dump into a wheel of truck. They talked about doing uh, like a loading ramp. The location of the loading ramp uh wasn't feasible it was alongside the river i had a lot of issues with it uh, safety for my employees being over an embankment in this and that the other option was possibly using one of our wheeler trucks using our loader taking the uh the compact tractor of loading into the bucket of the wheel loader loading into the truck you know it was just one thing after another I, I wanted this to be as much self-sufficient as possible. So I think the best avenue for us was to look at getting the compact tractor, getting this type of truck here, that 550 or a Dodge 5500, something that's heavy duty, something that's fairly new, uh, something that's uh, can haul a trailer if need be, um, haul our, our material to Canada. Again, we're gonna be international bound, we're gonna be abiding by their laws, their rules and regulations for road. Um, or we want to try community, it's still going to be a, a distance for us to travel. Uh, the wastewater truck is a 2012. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of miles, but I do want to keep it into the public works. And I think the best fit for that would be for Hollis up at the recycling center. He'll be more uh, self sufficient up there. Having a truck up there with a plow, when he comes in in the morning, the truck would be there for him. And uh, he can do his uh, plow direct instead of relying on us during a snowstorm. Um, he had to send somebody else up there while we're trying to pick up snow, whatever. So I thought it'd be more uh, efficient. So. so this would haul a trailer, which would haul the compost material? Yes, trailer, or we... Another uh, issue we're having is compact tractors. 
they're far in between. Uh, the pricing that we thought we we're going to get for a compact tractor at forty thousand is not coming in. The tractor is coming in at fifty, fifty-five thousand because supply. Um, I initially was going to just do a regular trailer, a regular truck, maybe a flatbed. But for the little bit amount of money putting a dump on there, like I think it's like 500 bucks compared to two, between having a flatbed and a dump, I thought it would be more uh, feasible or uh, user friendly for the town to get a dump on you. But we would haul, the, you'd have to haul a dump trailer. Right. So we have to purchase a dump trailer also. That is part of the grant part of the project. It is part of it. It will not come out of directly out of my surplus or CIP. So the tractor a, and the dump trailer is part of the, the grant. That's diesel, I would take it. That is a diesel. Okay. How many yards are you anticipating of dumping? Uh, I talked to Jim Lathan and he's anticipating probably 20 to 30 yards a year. But this is yeah. going to be totally different for us. Because I produce more sludge than he does, limestone does. But that's what he's anticipating? Based on that? That's a, a guesstimate from the engineers. We'll know more after we do it, process it. At what time do you empty it out? Uh, you know what I mean? How thick does the bed have to be before you remove it? Uh, the question is how many yards you have at that point? It's going to be a learning because I've never done this before. And the only other community that does it is limestone. And again, they're not the capacity that I have. So I, I'm going to, if I had to guess, maybe once we apply the sludge on the drying bed, we're going to be waiting for a couple of weeks. We're going to take the tractor, scrape it all off, probably stockpile it in probably another pod. There's, there's going to be four pods into this building. We'll stockpile it into one pod. And next, when we have the time to do it, if we can make a load out of the truck, the dump trailer, then we'll. We'll haul it to Congernal or we'll haul it to Tractor Energy. So. so, to build on what he's asking, how many times a year do you think we would be doing this? I'm, if I had to guess, probably 10 times a year. I, I guess, uh, once, I guess. Like once maybe once every six weeks or something, or something like that. So, and it totally, it's totally a guess. I'm really not sure. Until, that's fine. Until we start getting into this and I start learning this process. Right. So, this truck here is not available. This is just a picture of what you want. Yeah, well, yeah, that's just a picture of a truck. I have two that are available right now. There's a Cummings uh, Dodge 5500 that's available at Kirk up in Bangor. He doesn't anticipate it being there the rest of this week. Uh, there's another um, truck out of Casco Bay, uh, 550, with a power stroke diesel in it. Uh, that one's available. He didn't tell me. When or if we sell this truck. And you want to go with this truck because of the size of the trailer? I think, yes. Buy? Yes. I don't want to undersize. I don't want to use a three quarter ton to haul a 14,000 pound trailer. So you're also going to put a plow on this? Yes. Yes. Okay, that, for the sewer plant for cleaning the address. Right, 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 right. right. So the, the Dodge at Quartz are going to be plow ready? Yes, it is. The Ford? The Ford is plow. Both of them? Ready. Yeah. So now you're looking at the cost of the truck, but you need to incorporate the cost. I'm gonna, if I had to guess it right now, with the, some of the quotes I got right now, you're probably looking at 70, 75 for the plow. What you think of it, it's, it's a lot of money, mm -hmm. but you look at a half ton truck. You can't buy a half ton truck. These are one for 75 grand. True. So, you know, How many yards is our biggest box or one of our wheelers? 10 yards. Uh, my biggest one would be my freight liner, probably pushing 12. Yeah. The biggest thing I have, to be honest with you guys, with my trucks, they're older trucks. If I got to haul this to Conjurno across, uh, being, weird. Pulled, being pulled over by. Canadian DOT, you know what I'm saying? No, but so, should, should have how would we pay hmm. for them? This would come out of either surplus or CIP. And yours? Yeah, for the source. Wastewater. Yeah. Wastewater. Wastewater. Yes. Wastewater, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And, and depending on, like I said, how much it is that we could, we can contract with Tri Community, but I don't know if they have a, a, a limit or a size, or you just, it's 120 a ton if you just drive, or whether we're allowed to put it into our box and it goes. Yeah, that's a lot of unanswered questions here. Yeah, and those are ones we, we don't know, but yeah. that's um, 
the cost of that per ton. Um, Concern is cheaper, but it's not necessarily cheaper if you're only doing. If you actually pick this option because in the long run it's expensive to build it, but it takes out a lot more moisture, so it's a lot less over time because we don't have to pay much for it. So. Okay, and so in terms of funds, and this is through June 30th, this is last year's um, audit, and it would have had on hand or at the end of the audit in terms of cash or cash equivalents, whether it's CIP or um, surplus at June 30th, um, about 900,000, 890 to 900,000. Um, there's were outstanding receivables, and so we're usually at June before people pay goes to lean, people don't pay. There was about 98 outstanding, but in actual cash. And according to my weather meeting down here, restricted, which I read to be CIP. Was 459 and unrestricted was 473. Now we have paid out of Rick's CIP since June 30th to finish the pump station project. Are we done with that? The pump station project. The pump we're stations, done. Are we yes, finished with that? We're finished, but I'm not sure how much we spent after June 30th because we finished up like in November. Yeah, yeah. So we have, we were paying about 200000 on that project, so I don't know before or after. But we also then put 50000 back into CIP during the last fiscal year. So I would say that he's still, in terms of the number you're talking about, it's there. He, he's, he's, he's healthy. Um, because 75000 is not going to get one of these either way. So you could pick CIP. We are going to, you know, when, when we're done with this next project, which is not going to happen until sometime next year, um, we're, we're going to either have additional loan money or we'll see um, that or we can do some of our air cleaning. But he's all right to be able to buy this truck. And what we talked about is call a special town meeting from this, figure out what's the closest date you can do to appropriate the funds so that they're available when you find the truck. Because right now, you guys don't have the authority to appropriate out of the account or the piece of it. But if we wait to find a truck, like you said, it takes a month. Mm -hmm. But he, he knows they're coming. He, these these companies are regularly at least getting one here or there. Right. So oh, the, question is, the yeah. question is, the sooner we have it, at least he'd have it sitting there like not to exceed. Right. Um, yeah. And unfortunately, because it is an appropriation, and we didn't appropriate it in June. I don't think anybody would question it. It's just, okay, set a date. You have to post two weeks beforehand. Or, well, no, seven days beforehand. I don't know if there's anything else to add, Devin. Do we have any other planning board or that purchase of land or any other special? No, I have meeting? mine Thursday, but that's it. And that's not a special yeah. town meeting? Nope. So, and it's just something we call in front of a council meeting. You need at least, you should, it has to be in person, so it's not like it's a bowling. So I think we usually go no shorter. Let's do it. Three weeks. Or yeah, do we have that any other November. costs associated with this dewatering project that you are looking at? No. Not this year. Not this year. Not this year. Not I don't want to come back and yeah. uh, I need no. this and I need that. Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to sass you. I, just, unexpected, I don't want to be surprised. Unexpected, no. So everything under the everything under the grant is covered. Yeah. Truck would be separate. The trailers covered under the grant. There's no other specialized equipment that's not covered under the grant that you were looking at that we would need. No. So the grant's covered for the trailer and the tractor. Yes. But it is specified by you or can by you? Uh, for the funding, Nancy. Might as well buy new. I'm pretty sure it's going to be new. Sometimes you get some good deals. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, no, he's, he's right. You can get, yeah. Somebody yeah. can trade in a tractor they don't like with five right. hours. Yeah. Well, and as we were if talking just about it. Light well, one of the options here, too, is there's a, there's a 2020 available, too, with like 300 miles on it. It's just a company that bought it. Okay. And That's I'm good. looking very hard on that one, too. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay. okay. That's 300 miles? That's yeah. new. The brain's making new. It's 2020. Yeah. I'm gonna look at the best option. No, no, Trust me, I've got 20, 26 years. <laughs> no. I've been working with town for twenty six years. Uh, right. Nobody here is doubting you. you I just want to. I'm not gonna stay there and I'm gonna buy the most expensive vehicle. XLP. I just don't want to have to buy a right. helicopter next month because uh, we need something else. Only a year for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if 
I, I, and I get where Pete's coming from because we can't just write the check right. out right. of your CIP. Right. Yeah. We because if there's if you bed? can think of anything, then no. no. What's that? Is there a dump bed or is this that one here? Would have this one would have one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if there, I can't think of anything yet unless the, once the project is finally done. I mean, the engineers, everything that Jim Layton's told you, there's no surprises. There shouldn't be. Right, and all that's happening now is you get the concrete, and then it shuts down. Well, that ain't even happen either. That may not because uh, right. after the project starts Monday morning, uh, I think they're only going to be doing groundwork this year. They're having a hard time uh, getting rebar. It's one thing after another. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing just the groundwork. There's a couple pipes that they're going to stick in the ground, and this, they're going to shut down until next spring. Right. Now, I'm almost positive that's going to happen. There's one thing after another. Right. But all of every cost, every we have cut the cost covered all the way through, even yeah. through June thirtieth, before we're going to be putting anything into it. And yeah. there's also the possibility we did receive this ARP money, calling it American Recovery Protection Act money. We did receive our first check. It's sitting in the bank. We're not going to deal with it today. But there's very restricted uses for that. And then the first is losses, so that's the first thing I'll be doing is calculating with their formula uh, the losses that we had last year that we could have then put to that. And then there's it's in the area of health care, uh, helping you know, there's some employee, but you can't spend it on mud, but you can spend it on sewer or water. <laughs> so in, in terms of, and then we'll get another check next year, if we need to, and we don't have, and some towns are finding that because it's so restrictive, depending on the services they have, they're trying to figure out how to spend it. Um, so we're not going to be in that boat. I think that we can, you know, there's certain things you can do, but you can't just like throw, you, you can't buy the truck possibly, but it could help the bay for some of the, something that's required on the project. So I think we're sewers, if, if anything, there's more money out there if we yeah. need it than we can see. So I know he's just trying to get this for winter. Yeah. Because yeah. he wants to move down. No, I. And I'd like to throw this. In. And he did bring it up last last budget season, and we were just. I have no budget. issue with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, like, it's, so it's, I'd like to throw this suggestion out, just for the, so we can back and say, okay, we need to have a special town. We need to appropriate the funds. Our next council meeting is the nineteenth. That gives us enough time to have this thing published. That, that's a little too short. I gotta check. I think I don't know if you can do go two weeks out. Um, Why not? If it's seven days, we've got 14, so we've got a week to play with. I need to check the... So, I, I'm throwing this you off for discussion. You have to put it in the newspaper. It has to run so many days. The newspaper's not that... that For a special I believe so. Yeah, it'll only be in the paper the 13th. Um, so, as, 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 quick, mean, how about this? as quickly like, as possible. Well, well, right. So, if we're on the 5th, if, if we have to go even four weeks, we're talking like November 1st, and he's got the authority, he's going to be looking right up to them, and if there's something that's going to come on, he's not ordering anything. Um, well, he needs the truck for winter. November 1st is the beginning of winter. Yeah, that's... Yeah. that's and well, well, there's going to be other people out there looking for trucks. Okay, so. here's... Let me finish my suggestion, then we can... Let me find out what the earliest possible date is. Let's do that. Open to Let's that, that and that. say yeah. whatever it is. My suggestion is, is, yeah. is that if we can do it, especially time meeting in the 19th, yeah. Do it. Yeah. Okay. And in the meantime, talk to Perks. I, I personally like the Dodge better because of the Cummins diesel versus the Power Stroke. I think the Cummins is a better, a better diesel and a better truck is better built than a Ford. That's my personal preference. I think it'd be wise for us to look at it, talk to Perks, see what the, if they would hold it for us for two weeks. Yeah, they won't. They won't. Right, or yeah. what they would need for down payment. And get back to So you're basically saying, ask him if he'll take a down payment and now. Oh, and hold it for us until we have a special until That I can ask. And if it, if it does not get approved, we'll then see if we can get our down payment back. Or at least we we will have secured that tickler truck at whatever price you can negotiate with them. Because Pete's right. And everybody's right. We all know. Yeah. There's a car shortage, there's a truck shortage, and it's only going to... It's going to get worse. It's, it's only going to get worse. worse. Yeah. Rebar shortage. Sure. Right. Yeah. You know, I went to the hardware store today looking for a, 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 a flu insert. It's someplace on a ship. 
probably in San Francisco Bay. Yeah, they're all stacked yeah. up out there. So yep. you know, so they tell me today on news they tell everybody to do a Christmas shopping early because they don't know what to do then. You know, it's gonna be a Christmas shopping. What? What is it? Like what month was that? Twenty twenty. But I'm I'm saying what twenty twenty two. It's a Dodge uh, Tradesman, I think they call it, 5500. Yeah. yeah. So it's a Ram. Yeah. It's 500, and that has the dump bodies already. Yes. yes. And with the Cummins vehicle. Yes. See if you can lock it down. See well, you what do you guys want to do for uh, down payment? That we can do. 10% if you want to take it right out of my budget at wastewater. For now, then we just. I say we take it out of your budget. I'm, I'm throwing this for, so for discussion. I say we take it from your budget. Put it towards it, and then we'll reimburse it after. We'll reimburse it after, uh, we, after the special town meeting, and the funds are approved. If they're approved. If oh, excuse me, yes. If the now funds what are happens on his end? If he makes that deal, they say, well, okay, well we'll do that. But if you guys don't approve it, that's why I'm that's why I'm putting it on the table. We may lose our job. Yeah, that's why I kind of worry a little bit too. Yeah. That, well, that's why I'm putting it on the table for discussion. Yeah, just ask. Have you ever dealt with Wagon Ford? Yeah, those trucks. I did. I called them today too. They had nothing available. There's. I mean, I know they don't have them at Darlings. Yeah. Darlings will hold the vehicle for you. They'll store it in the back lot with, if they could get it. They don't have much stuff. Recently. Like yes, recently. There's a guy there that's really good. His um son was the girl, or still is the girls' basketball coach here at the high school. His name is Ken. And like they'll hide the a vehicle for you. Yeah, I call I call I call Darlings Darlings is not a commercial no, truck. No, they're not. That's why I said they deal I with the one ton, so the thirty five hundred and below. I was yeah. wondering if they could get it for you. But uh, if you want to go the four hundred, the forty four hundred, the forty five hundred, the fifty five hundred, in the Dodge or the F four fifty, the F five fifty, you're going to commercial. Yeah. So yeah. in there, you're limited on the dealerships. So not every dealership, like this, it doesn't commercial. deal with commercial trucks. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's why I threw it on table so we can all bat around our Yeah, no, so call them make it. and uh, see if they'll accept uh, down payment if we get a whip. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't see an issue. Uh, why would Why would they not? I don't. I don't. I can't, I, can't, I, can't yeah. for, I can't foresee a reason why the people would not appropriate the money for a truck that we need. Right. Well, I agree. And especially, yeah. out of a, especially out of an account that's already healthy and that there's already money right. waiting in the wings to back it up. It's, it's a no-brainer. And it's something you need anyway. And it's something that you're going to have to have. system, I mean, yeah. you can't, uh, there's no, no. other feasible yeah. uh, no. alternative. There, there was the option of waiting until next year, but I just thought comfortable of waiting and waiting and waiting. I don't think this is going to get any better. And if I had to wait until next spring and there's nothing available, then we have to order it, and we're waiting another possibly another year, then we're going to need to issue the I'm with you, Paul. Yeah, like I said, I threw it out there for us to discuss. I'm with you, Paul. Yeah, let's we'll so, uh, go we'll check that out tomorrow morning. What for any restrictions are, or two weeks is what it is. Then basically, what I would say right now then is let's at least approve what the warrant article would be, because you know, if we approve what the warrant article is going to be on that special town meeting, and we don't have to have a meeting before that, so we should work. Okay. Yep. Well, and then, like I said, it's, it, it's, it's, it's going to be yeah. not to exceed probably a certain yeah. amount of money. You know, so see if you can get that wording today and approve that so your, article your, statement. Your number for the truck here, 40. 70, 73 to 76, is that including the plow that you need? That would include the plow. And if that's on the Dodge. That would be the, the Dodge, top of my head, I didn't bring the paperwork, I believe it was 66000 The Dodge is actually cheaper than the Power Stroke. This morning. Really? Yeah, it was. I believe the power trick was 68, and that one there is a uh, 66 and change, and you're going to attack another 6, maybe 7. For the, uh, plow, right? the, plow, yeah, plow yeah, on it. the stainless steel. So, are you okay with the Dodge? I mean, I'm okay with the Dodge. Yeah, I'm okay with either one. You don't have to define that, as long as you got them, you know, up yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to know yeah. what. What's the what's the what's the I would, end? personally I would probably do something like seventy five and let me that's just what I was thinking. is that that's is seventy five enough it should be that said the truck is sixty six when he called me today okay and add seventy two for the plot what did that come up to yeah. seventy three seventy three change yeah. Yeah. seventy two change seventy three so seventy five is fair yeah. yeah 
Why did they have to have two times? They said two times. Yeah. Just see if you're hitting you. Yeah, yeah. We, we did this. It's on an XLT. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's an XL. It's made to work. It's made to work. It's made to work. That's what we need. Yeah, that's what we want. I don't know why I didn't think of this with four work, but this is a possibility. And it just came to me as we talked about it. We did this in the last year, one of the first years. We spent directly out of the appropriated capital expense. Normally, when we appropriate this, it's to go into CIP. Okay. Right. We appropriated 60000 which means right now we could grab that 60000 and put it in CIP, but now we're talking about a special town meeting pulling out. We could, there's nothing that says we can't spend the 60000 here. That's already in there. That's already in there. It's not enough to cover. For but, it, but at least that would be that would be enough to secure a down payment and hold that truck. Or maybe pay for Not it, even. maybe pay for the whole truck and then we appropriate the CFP to cover yeah. it, which would just Yeah, either that or because this is gonna just go back in CFP. It's gonna right. go back in anyway. It's gonna go back in and what happened is one year we had a we had choosing. to get a grant. Actually it was the first grant, the planning grant in December. And we like immediately got this, you know, twenty it was a twenty six thousand dollar but they were only going to give six. We had to pay the 20 for the planning grant, and we had to do it. And we actually spent right out of the formula. So that actually. Is there anything else so you're in the budget saying, that we could pull from to make up the difference instead of going to the people? Is there um, anything in the budget? What is the after line item? What do you have for line item for a truck? I mean, if all we're going to be missing is 6000 Oh, man, I don't know. Well, Maybe okay. That's, so that's what that's we 60, did, right? 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, you okay with that? I'm good. I think I'm we reading could, Paul's there were line. Opportunity for okay. The <laughs> <laughs> another, I'm reading Paul's line. You're a good man. Wow. <laughs> okay. Another thing that I'm throwing onto the table. Okay. The green pickup. Yeah. Belongs to wastewater. Yes. So. You can buy it. Would you highway? Sell it to. Would you sell it to, to the highway department? I would sell it to the recycling center. The recycling center. At this point. Okay. Or let's say it's still it's still books valued at twenty twenty thousand. Okay, so we sell the truck. They may not have twenty thousand. <laughs> okay, so, so we sell the truck. Is that still? Wow. All right, so if it's valued at twenty and we sell the, I'm throwing this off in discussion. We had, we end up selling that the uh, green pickup to the recycle center for fifteen thousand. Yeah. With the sixty we get there, we right, get the seventy five thousand right. to pay for his piece of equipment. Right. We haven't had to go to the voters. We've done this all within the public view and within public discussion, and nobody, there's not a, we could, tomorrow morning, he can go to Quirks and say, Give me the truck. Give me the truck, sharpen your pencil, I've got the check ready. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going to find some recycling though? Well, and after having We're going to go to a special town meeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking about that. If, if, because that would give time to set up a special town meeting, buy the purchase. truck, delay the purchase of the. I don't know about delay. Yeah, never mind. No, no, keep going. Well, because um, no, I was thinking if we have a special. May, they may not be able. We'll have to look and see where we're at revenues and expenses. Yeah. With, and actually, we're at that point in like the first quarter. Right. To possibly look at that. We certainly, I don't know if there's 20,000, but it could be a, you know, buy it over a couple of years. The other okay. thing is to see if recycling had excess money. Well, we were from, talking 73, two. Yeah. So, we could, so 13, two, roughly. We use CIP funds for from, uh, recycling. The recycling. We covered the cost, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so instead we of 17, sell, what about 13? So, so we sell the, the green pickup to recycling, let's say for 13, and they pay back. Over let's say four years. That's fine. Four or five years. Yeah. That way we're not depleting 
We're not depleting. Just show it in our audit. Just so show it on it that we're making a wrong yearly there. payment. Take thirteen thousand over four. That's what thirty-three. Let's say thirty-five hundred dollars. Thirty-five hundred dollars a year. That's yeah. built into the recycle budget to pay back the thirteen thousand. Because that truck is. It, it's still a good truck. It's got a lot of life left. Oh, and, and, and the only thing you're going to be using it for, Hollis. basically, is Hollis. Hollis, 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 Hollis is going to take care of it. Yes. Hollis, Hollis is going to take care of it. Hollis, no so doubt in my mind. Hollis and that is truck's going to have. It's going to. Well, the truck will outlive the payments. Oh, that's for sure. You know, and I and I'm Pretty suggesting cool. rather than, and I'm throwing this out for the art, to just throwing it on the table. Rather than depleting his account for sixty thousand, why don't we pay it in twelve thousand increments for five years? Yeah, he's he's she, he, we have the money for free. Yeah. Right. The yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to the CIP. We don't. Right. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Right. So we take we, which, which is what we normally do, but because right. we've appropriated, Let's we do with your have first the idea. appropriation. Okay. So we're first all idea, on board with it. Okay. So the first <laughs> idea is that we take the sixty thousand we put towards that. Take a green truck. Establish a price for the recycling center. Recycling center builds into their budget. X amount of dollars for the next three or four years. Whatever the balance is yeah. from the sixty thousand, right? Is we'll we'll, we'll figure it out yeah. and we'll set up a payment plan for recycling to pay that. Yeah. Well, let Man. me tell you what also is in the audit. Okay, and, and I just opened up the schedule right in the audit, and we look at it all the time. But I'm more familiar is what our actual budget was. And um, what we spent in terms of in here on in terms of appropriation though this was so an appropriation for surplus in the account. So if we had and I can't I don't know if I can compare it here because I can't probably break down recycling revenue exactly in the audit, but I can break it down in trio. We underspent our budget in at June 30 by fifteen thousand. So the difference between the recycling budget and the recycling's revenue June 30 last year, technically that money could be, it's gone just into government so far. At this point, without being directed, but we could direct that because that's when we had an excess of revenue. Mm -hmm. It could it, it could be directed actually, sometimes the auditors, they don't compute. You can't take it forward unless you spend it on the same thing, but recycling, but it's there. If we said recycling was going to pay, technically, if recycling acts like sewer, then whatever excess it has should go to recycling. Right, right. Also um, although, you know, that might have been, but it's, it, we can figure it out. Okay. We can figure it out. Yes, we're here. There's no special time meeting. I'm done. We're right done. Right right. So, oh, yes. I'm the tomorrow morning, morning, the hatch is first anymore. thing on your desk, yeah. walk in and call them and say, hey, I want the truck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's legal. legal. We have the funds. Yep, we have the funds. Do it. Do it. Good. Let's. We're on it. We're no helicopter next month. No helicopter. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't mind it. Just my daughter. Yes. Go for it. Thanks. Sir. She doesn't get to have a truck. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't get to have a truck. Soccer season, so here. So, um, thank you, Rick. Thank you, guys. Well, do we need a motion? <laughs> Um, actually, Can you use that money or not? I think it's good to, you know, if you guys support yeah, the improvement, All right. um, and so. say that we're going to use the current year CIP allotment, which means that we're not pulling out of CIP, we're just not putting into it either, but that it's really good for that. Um, it would help at some point. You know, the public 